Hello everybody. Uh, today I'm going to show you how this lead, neat little uh, shading normal output you can create with any render out there uh, can be pretty helpful when it comes to post-production your uh, pictures. I was rendering this car here in Modo using V-Ray for Modo and uh, jumping here into uh, Photoshop and we have this uh, shading normal output here. So what can be done with this shading output? So in Photoshop you have the, the option to select by color range. Means it's depending on the normals of your render uh, and it's defining the directions. For example, this one here with uh, localized uh, color clusters, uh, you can select every face as every shape that's facing towards the camera. So somehow to the right just select it by this one here and uh, if you go in here now and take uh, for example a curves adjustment layer and you can go into the colors and try you can adjust the colors by on the right side so in, like in this case here it looks more like some yellowish color is coming from the right um, you can tint from different kinds of layers so it's just affecting everything that's coming from the right side uh, you can go in here now select a uh, color range everything from the front for example here you can uh, just play around with the threshold going in here just create uh, another curves one and you can create easily simple different kinds of looks depending on uh, the shape of the car. Another thing you can do with it is, which is delete these one too. Uh, if you take a look here and uh, on the mirror, there is, it's nearly black here, it's no, uh, no, you can't define somehow the shape here. But what you, what you can do is just go in here, color range again, select the mirror up there, going just a little bit back here to define somehow the shape. Okay, create a new layer, hide the selection and start painting for example here with, with, with white, you just can paint in like it's airbrushing, you can add or you can even choose a different kind of color, it's just with a color picker ta taking a little bit here of the bluish color, just start painting in here and so you can add details, paint in details uh, like in airbrush by defining the color range making can make it even sharper like this one here can go in and uh, hide the selection and can paint in highlights as you can see it's perfectly shaped another area for example here in the front grill uh, you have no no uh, color in here anymore so it's plain black it's it's nearly completely black but what you can do now here is select by color range just uh, for example the front the front parts oh, let's take ah hard to grab this resolution just taking a look here or just the side ones it's, I guess it's easier like this one just the side ones going in here, create a new layer, hide this one and start painting in just to define the color and this you, this can be done with every, every area here just uh, going in here it's not about photorealism but it's about painting details in it uh, select color range this one here for example just selecting bluish color and start painting it in so you can paint in light where it's nearly impossible to add area lights or uh, reflection maps or j just any or here another area here select color range just select this part here that's uh, in the render it's nearly completely black 
going back, creating a new layer, hiding, hiding the, just paint in here. Just go in, color pick some bluish material. You can paint in here. And of course, uh, it's incredibly useful when, when it comes to uh, paint highlights. Just for example here, the back tire here, it's completely dark. Just going in here, select color range, select a little bit here on the edge, play around with threshold, fuzziness, so like this one here, create a new layer, you can paint in details, things that would be impossible otherwise things that are our details, parts of the car in this case, that are completely vanishing in the dark. I don't like this one here, just uh, trying to find out which layer was the second layer here, deleting this one here, I want just want to have the front parts, color range, yeah let's take this, uh, let's stick with this one here just that nothing in the background gets selected as well so just create a new layer hide it and just paint in here look and depending on what kind of resolution you have you can paint in even more details so it's it's really incredible useful working like this and uh, if you want to for example just taking this highlight here this area here just going in color range Taking, for example, this area here, just making it really small, making it really sharp. And if you start painting in here, hiding, just setting the overlay. can start painting in details. So, the last one, but I think you got it somehow, what I wanted to show you in this video. Just colorish a little bit blue. Just paint, painting it in here. So, if you take a look at these, what I've painted in here, looks much nicer. Nicer. So you you are completely free what you want to do with it. So even the, the adjustment layers, you can even s use these ones here to color color uh, color range. Select everything from the right side, and. Uh, just add here uh, curves, highlighting n without affecting the rest of the car. So these parts here are completely untouched by this uh, adjustment layer. It's just so something like this. Just I hope you like.